In just the past four months, the district has spent more than $8 million addressing the needs of thousands of migrants. Republican governors from southern states have sent buses of migrants from Texas and Arizona. The number being housed in hotels and attending D.C. public schools has increased as well. News 4's Mark Seagraves broke the story on social media this afternoon and spoke with the woman overseeing D.C.'s response. It's an interview you'll see only on News 4. Back in September, Mayor Bowser declared a state of emergency and allocated $10 million to deal with the humanitarian crisis of the buses bringing migrants to D.C. Now, four months later, that money is almost used up and the district is facing an even bigger challenge. The buses haven't stopped since April. Hundreds of asylum seekers arriving in the district each month. Laura Zeilinger, D.C.'s director of the Department of Human Services, tells News 4 soon the district will need to allocate more money. The question is for how long D.C. taxpayers can keep paying. Um, we've spent about $8 million since um, as of the end of December, and it is not sustainable that the district will be able to provide um, an, a limitless response to meet the needs of people here. So we are doing the best we can with what we have to recognize the humanity of the people who are coming to us. We welcome immigrants to our community. While there are only estimates as to how many migrants have shown up in D.C. since April, we do know the number is in the thousands and it's going up. In September of 2022, D.C. was housing 348 asylum seekers in hotels. As of late December, that number has more than doubled to 847. And the number of children attending D.C. public schools has more than tripled from 70 in September to 239 in late December. We're doing the best that we can to offer a caring, humane, compassionate response. The district is counting on some of the money being reimbursed by the federal government. We also need the federal government to do more around this issue. Within the next few weeks, the district will announce contracts with at least two churches and other community-based organizations to set up welcoming centers with set operating schedules, and they will announce the hiring of an executive director for the Office of Migrant Services. Zeilinger is candid when asked how long the district can sustain the influx of migrants. It's really a national question. How long can our country sustain uh, uh, policies that um, bring people over the border into the United States without necessarily the resources or supports to survive and to what degree can jurisdictions throughout the country adequately respond. Seilinger says most of the migrants arriving move on to other final destinations. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Zeilinger tells News 4 asylum seekers are not legally allowed to work or receive any type of federal benefits. She says that has proven to be an obstacle in providing support for the migrants.